Well, this is another bittersweet day for here uh, here at KDK. After 19 years of medical reporting, Dr. Maria Simbra is retiring. Quite a story. Um, already an MD, she shows up here at KDK as a news intern at two, in 2001. It was just a week before the 9-11 terror attacks, and that was just the start of her unique and very impressive journalism career. Dr. Maria Simbra's path to TV didn't take the typical route. She first earned her medical degree from Pitt and worked as a physician for more than a decade. During that time, she went back to school, earning a master's in journalism from Point Park University. And on May 13, 2002, KDK hired Dr. Maria as its newest medical reporter. Many of my patients take hormone replacement therapy, or HRT, to help them through the change of life. Over the last 19 years, her medical background has served her well in TV, bridging medicine and media, especially when it came to covering neurological issues, her specialty, like the story of Randall McCloy, the lone survivor of the Sago mine disaster. His wife Anna says that he'll pucker for a kiss or tap his hand to call her small signs that Randall McCloy has just begun his long road of recovery. The brain tumor diagnosis and death of Pittsburgh Mayor Bob O'Connor. Now this week, the mayor was doing bedside physical therapy, and he was walking around the neurointensive care unit with help. But then over the weekend, he developed complications. Apparently, treating one problem has led to another. And the story of Renee Fogarty of Turtle Creek, who in 2017 became the first person in the U.S. to receive the first new treatment for ALS in more than 20 years. The drug is called Radicava. It neutralizes free radicals, which are molecules that can damage cells, protein, and DNA. Dr. Maria has received many awards during her career, including an Emmy in 2008, for a report she did where she followed a trauma surgeon through a typical night shift in a local ER. We get a rare peek at what goes into the care patients get when they come in with trauma on the busiest night of the week as we join this trauma surgeon for a Friday night on call. And of course, she's been here over the past year, helping guide us through COVID-19, the largest global health issue of our time. The states may give the go-ahead to local vaccine providers to immunize adolescents. Dr. Maria retired from medicine in 2008, and now she's retiring from television. But the mark she's left on medicine and medical reporting in western Pennsylvania won't soon be forgotten. And we are joined now live by Dr. Maria. She does have a couple of reports yet to air, so this isn't a really... <laughs> Final, final right. goodbye, but we wanted to take the occasion to salute you on what's been a remarkable 19 years at KDKA. Well, thanks, Kim. Thanks, Kim. And what a wonderful piece. So much gratitude to my special projects producer, Corey Martin, and to extraordinary editor, Marty Rogers, for putting together that tremendous look back. Thank you to all the photographers, the producers, everyone that I've worked with in the newsroom over the years. And an extra special thank you to you, our dear viewers, for welcoming me into your homes and into your hands for the past 19 years. Whether you are watching on TV or watching on your phones, it has been an honor and a privilege to be part of your screen time as Dr. Maria. And I am so humbled and so very grateful to have had this amazing career here. And I'd like to thank you for being part of that. And now, for the last time ever, I will seg out. I'm Dr. Maria Simbra, KDKA News. Oh, Maria. Very nice. Maria, congrats. All the best in the future. Someday, when this pandemic is a memory, we will give you an official goodbye hug. Yes. Enjoy that family of yours, too, Dr. Maria. Thank you. All the best to you. Okay. All right. You know, medical uh, information is one of those things people sometimes trust what they read on the internet you know you yeah. hear different things i always felt like if dr maria reported it you could count on that yeah 100 percent and it's just been terrific to have her reporting for us and giving context and her unique insight over the years and how fortunate are we here at kdk to have an actual md on staff yeah. here to to give us that information it's really important and uh and uh you know we were we're very thankful for everything she contributed over the years all right um no question yes <laughs> Underli underline that and bold print it